Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Mega Modded Gungeon series. We are back again. I'm going to play this Convict this time. It's been a while since I played this Convict and I've already gone and grabbed my extra stuff from the arcade room. So let's get into it. And one of the items is one that I uh, I enjoy quite a lot and I'm very, very happy to have it off at the start. Um, I'm hoping it works correctly because it hasn't displayed in the breach, but I'm not sure if it would. I'm not entirely sure. But you'll see when I spawn in whether it's worked or not. Um, my character will look... Um, somewhat enhanced. <laughs> um, my convict, you've enhanced yourself. <laughs> there you fucking go. Oh, nice. And we also got the gamma ray and the, um, the heroin as well. But yes, we have the, um, the Dimsdale Dimmerdome hat. For my hat. <laughs> what intonation. Oh my god. The 10,000 gallon hat. <laughs> I can't actually remember what it does in terms of stats or anything. Um, it seems to give us some dodge roll mo modifier by the looks of it. It, it. It's the one 0 0.8 times with my little feet there. I don't know. Anyways, we got this to start with. Um, we'll probably use Gamma Ray actually, early, early doors, because it's pretty decent. It does reasonable damage, it poisons, it's got good ammo. Not a bad one to start with, but yes, I absolutely adore this goddamn stupid hat. It's the best. Very, very bad hit there, but we get the double damage for a little bit. We got a chest off of that as well. Do you know what? A bootleg weapon ain't bad. Although, weird that it's 350 out of 600 on the ammo there. Why is that? I don't know why that's the case. Uh, we'll grab a curse here as well. One curse never hurt anyone. Just like a little bit to uh, get some jammed enemies here and there. A little bit more ammo drops. All that good stuff. <clears throat> Just this goddamn hat. It's the absolute best. The absolute best. Also, is my gamma ray curving a little bit? Does it normally do that? It does normally do that, doesn't it? I'm not going mad. I'm not going absolutely insane. But yeah, we are playing on a Rob Ross. Apparently, um, from what I've heard, I was asking the developer sort of what the deal is with the Ouroboros levels. Oh, nice. HP up and a great weapon. And it gives you a speed boost too. Oh, wait, so the, the hat's just a speed down, I see. Um, that gives a speed up overall, I think. But yeah, um, I asked the developer that adds the Ouroboros levels. Apparently, they are, they are getting harder with each level. It's just a very, very small increase with each level because there's a lot of levels. So I kind of said, oh, well, we're on Ouroboros 6 now and I'm not really feeling any difference. And they just said, it's just because... The, the difference that it adds is quite small. Why, why wouldn't I pick up this HP? Yeah, the difference that it adds is quite small hair level. It's very, very gradual. So I think I think it's... He didn't say specifically what the effects are, but I think it's things like enemies' HP, movement speed, bullet speed, things like that. I think they slowly increase by a small amount with every Ouroboros level we climb. I think it goes all the way up to 50. We're on like 6 at the minute. Yeah, this Gamma is doing amazing right now. Like, I, I genuinely don't remember it being this good. Like, pretty damn ammo efficient. Killing stuff reasonably quickly. Even that shotgun guy there got kind of wrecked. And then with the homing as well, it's real nice. Lots of extra money coming our way. Lovely. We'll see what the shot can uh, provide for us. I'm pretty happy with our golden chest here. I, I might go for the, uh, the blue chest behind the mirror. But I wanted to sort of seek out my options first. And uh, make sure that I uh, kind of knew what I was getting into before I just straight up went for the extra chest with a curse. Because I might get like a curse shield shop on this floor and that might sort of change my opinion on whether I want to take on the extra curse. I mean, I already did take plus one, so I'd be taking another 3.5 on top of that. But 4.5 curse is actually a really nice number to set in my opinion. That's like an amount of curse that allows you to um, pretty comfortably... Um, We've got to grab this. Pretty comfortably get a good amount of jammed enemies without being overwhelmed. Go to the shop here. We'll buy a key. Uh, what else we got going on? Clear guanstone, whatever. The syringe belt. Not really knowing what the syringe belt does. I am intrigued by it. Um, I will likely buy that because, yeah, it's from the reload mod, which is a good mod in general. And um, just, I'm intrigued. It looks like a really cool sprite, and it seems like an interesting item by the name, so... Certainly... Something that I'd like to... Just give it a little go, give it a little go. Right, so let's, uh, yeah, let's let's get both of our chests here. I'm, I'm willing to go for it. We get ourselves Gatling Gull, um... 
Gatling Gullets. Bullets forged from the soul of the Gatling Gull. Each hit on an enemy has a chance to summon three rockets from the sky to the enemy's position. Be wary, these rockets can damage the player. Intriguing. That seems actually pretty good. I, I like, it seems very dangerous, but three rockets, it's a lot. Not even just one. And we'll open this up as well. Let me get some boots. Spider boots. I'm guessing that's just leaving webbing when we roll. Walking leaves a silk trail. Let's use this glide across webs unharmed with the gun dead now being caught in it. Okay, so just just walking creates webbing now. That doesn't affect us and affects enemies. Pretty good. Slowing boots, essentially. I like the idea. Um, we'll definitely use this thing for the boss. I haven't been using my Molotov either here, so we can use that a little bit too. This gun is a favourite of mine that I haven't had in a really long time, actually, but I just love enemies that can, like, fill the room, and there's the, there's the missiles. Oh, shit. Something I didn't think about with the webs that you might have just seen there is the webs can get set on fire. That's not great. We kind of need fire immunity. <laughs> so, Molotovs are kind of out of the question now. Let's not use those. Oh, there was also a Mimic here that we managed to kill. Bullet boots. I don't remember what bullet boots do. They don't do what you think they do, if I remember correctly. We've got two pairs of boots on already. Firing, fire bullets in the direction you're running. Oh, we had a really crazy synergy with this before, didn't we? Um, it's not doing it currently, but I think it's only do. I think it only does it when there's enemies about. We also got exactly enough to buy the syringe belt as well. I'll gladly take that. Let's take a little look what it does. Belt for syringes of various types. Um, enchanted to only be drawn in the presence of other items. Gives a 50% chance for ch uh, for chests to contain stat increasing syringes. Really interesting. And a very, very good time to get that. Nice and early. I like it. We also got the little monkey gun here. It's not very good. Um, it's not terrible either. I'm going to keep on using the gamma ray for now. I think basically while we're early game, early doors, it's a good idea to use this gun. Because late game, it's going to be pretty useless. Um, it's always good to have the gamma ray in my inventory though. Because if there's an opportunity to duct tape, which I know is rare. But duct tape with gamma ray is like insanely good. Because it has charge up time, which means basically you get a massive boost to your ammo and can use the other gun as you normally would with like no reload. So if you like the RC rocket with it, it's just, ugh, it's devastating. It's so good. Um, anything that doesn't have charge up that has low ammo per mag. But anyways, like I said, that's a very much theoretical thing. That might not happen. Yeah. Yeah, so far, things are going well. Like I said, we are on 4.5 curse now, so we are going to start seeing probably one jammed enemy every other room. Um, obviously, that's not exact, but around that. That doesn't really count, because that's from the, cur uh, from the jamming of whatever you want to call it. What the hell is that? Butter. It's too slippery. Very interesting. Makes the owner throw active items when using them. Active items that take longer to recharge deal more damage. A regular bar of butter, it's very difficult to hold, and now your items are covered in it. Using an active will throw it, uh, just like throwing guns. Throwing actives will deal 20 damage to any enemy it hits. Items with, um, items with use duration will only be thrown after finishing their use. Single use items can't be thrown. I'll keep it for now, because I don't have an active. Actually, I do have an active. I have Molotov. It's kind of funny that I... <laughs> it's actually quite funny that I throw... I throw the Molotov that also throws the Molotov. <laughs> quite a weird item. Definitely D tier, but certainly an interesting one. I don't dislike it. I like it when, uh, when modders get experimental with things like that, and special API is is known for their slightly experimental and wacky items, so I respect it. I respect it. Shop-wise, I mean, I'll be honest, I don't need bug boots, but I would like a third pair of boots. <laughs> I feel like, I feel like I would very much like a third pair of boots if I can get my hands on them, because why, like, why the hell not? Oh my god. Yeah, I need to stay away from fire at all costs. I don't even know how those fires are getting set. Do, do, do ghosts set things on fire now? Is that a thing? Yeah. 
Scary times. We're down to less than 100 ammo with this bad boy. We've got good uh, cares, though, so ammo drops should be reasonably regular. We should get this filled up soon. I think past the third floor, this thing's not going to be great. Um, use this bad boy. Kind of surprised two shots didn't kill it. There you go. Three shots did the... Store that away. Um... Keep on using this thing. It's still got 66 ammo left. That's like an extra room that it can clear. Nice. You see? There you go. We'll, we'll finish off the ammo just so we know it's empty. Um, I will use the bootleg machine pistol for now because it's reasonably decent. It's got decent damage. Oh, that's our first missiles in a really long time. Dude, how do these fires keep getting set? What, what, what do I have that's setting... Is it the missiles that are setting the fires? I'm just not noticing every now and again. But yeah, the missiles aren't coming down anywhere near as often as I thought they would. I kind of actually forgot I had the item for a little while there. Um, but when they come down, they're useful, especially on bosses. Don't mind that at all. Boom, bow. And then we've got our little mini dudes as well. Now and again, hey, an extra key means we don't have to buy one. Means the bug boots are well within play now. God damn, yeah, these missiles are very nice. Is it when damaging an enemy or when killing an enemy that it can trigger? I can't remember. I think it's when damaging. Let's keep it moving towards this uh, item room here. A bullet modifier chest. I will take needle bullets, more curse. It's only plus one. I think needle bullets is piercing. I can't remember. Massively increase um, shot speed, bullets pierce all enemies. Yeah, really good. Really good stuff. Of course, the uh, increased shot speed can be problematic, but the uh, the full piercing is real nice. I think this is an A tier. In fact, let's check it. Is it an A tier? I think it's an A tier. A tier, yeah. Pretty good. Piercing is just a real nice thing to have. Remember, that if this thing runs out of ammo, we... Um, we do explode, so we have to be very aware of when this thing's about to run out. Otherwise, we'll take some extra damage we have no business taking. Shotgun boy, you took a, a while getting around here. Not many jammed enemies thus far. I may say that and we, we get one straight away, but in general, not a lot. I think if we get hit, we also this thing also explodes. Threw that Molotov right at that bastard. Another chest here. Open that up. Hey, we get a stat increase here. Bullet up. Does that count as an item? It said bullet up, but I didn't. It didn't. I didn't see a stat increase. Polaris though is pretty nice here. Uh, we'll use that on the next floor, I think. Right. I think we've got enough for bug boots now. Ah, oh, we're two off. We'll get it. We'll get it in a sec. All right, back to this bad boy. Already has piercing, so the piercing isn't super necessary with this. But ooh, the shot speed though. The shot speed is kind of interesting on this thing. I don't know if it helps or hinders us, I really, I really couldn't say. Yeah, the missiles aren't really going to have a, a chance of even getting near us. Missiles are dropping on you like crazy. There you go. This is definitely our boss killer. It's doing a real good job. We get ourselves a carrot. Whoa, what the fuck? Increased range of sight, damage, projectile speed, and projectile range. This carrot is a plant whose typical orange roots are eaten as a vegetable. That's pretty interesting. I like the zoom out. That's not something I would have ever expected to be an item, but I quite like it. It's, it's kind of funky. Haha! -ha! We no longer have webbing. <laughs> We've overwritten the webbing. It's funny. I had to take it. It's just, it's just funny, isn't it? Right, um... Polaris is our next weapon. Yeah, just, just want to quickly check here. 
a yeah, decent increase in our stats there. I really like the zoom out. It's a ni nice, nice little feature. I also like the fact that it kind of animates. It doesn't just insta zoom. It like does that slow pull out. But yeah, Polaris here should be really good. Uh, of course, it's one of those weapons we've got to not get hit with. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But at the same time with piercing, plus the projectile speed, plus that little damage bonus we just got from the carrot there, uh, which seems to be a 35% bonus. Um, is rather nice. I don't know if that's just from the carrot or that's from the bullet up as well. Uh, but we should be able to get this thing reasonably, uh, reasonably leveled. You are a gem boy. These guys are slightly annoying for us. I'm just gonna kind of have to wait my turn with this. Yeah. God damn, this 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 zoom out is f kind of freaking me out. Completely missed my dodge roll there. A right whiff. Oh, dude. I think I actually didn't get hit there. Okay, we're on level 2 now with this thing. Dude, this this is a really, really frustrating enemy for me. Because he keeps getting into a position where he can duplicate easily. And then doing that. I blanked there to save my Polaris. I don't want to shoot you. I want to shoot the real guy. Dude, this is so frustrating. This enemy is so annoying. Die already. Fucking hell. That was ridiculous. I, I lost so much Polaris ammo there. God damn. Just a brown chest there. Ooh, baby. Got one of these flaws. Kind of interesting. Um, don't know if it's right for this run, but I could certainly consider it. Can you kick it? Yes, you can. Good. I like the way that even with our zoom out, our hat is still flying off the screen. Nothing can stop the hat. Try and get the, the little dude first. I think we're at max rank Polaris now. Facing that damage, it certainly seems that way. Ah, we got this shrine again, which we can't take because it's bugged for us. I should really just uninstall that mod. It's a really cool idea for a mod, but unfortunately, the volume is just broken for me and the developer doesn't know why. It's not broken for him. It's just broken for me. One of those things. Come on now. Oh my god. Missile's kind of poorly timed there. Okay, though, we got decent money as well. I can't remember if we've seen the shot. No, we haven't. Dude. Have I killed everything? It's all dead. Okay, good. Stressful. Andromeda Pain is pretty good. The Balancing Pull. I would very much like to have the Balancing Pull. I'm gonna guess I won't be able to afford it, though. We'll see how we do throughout the rest of this floor. We might get more jammed enemies than we expect. You never know. I think you can switch weapon with Polaris. I can't remember. I'm fairly sure you can. Yeah, you can, good. Doesn't lose its rank when you swap. I doubt we'll be getting 20 here. Uh, 20 casings, but we'll try. Right, I'll try my best to not get hit here, but we'll see. Oh my god, so many missiles. So many missiles. Holy shit. Also, the webbing here is uh, doing a real good job. I blanked just to get the clear mods away from me there, and it kind of worked out.
Ah, you fool. Nice one. Oh, we can see the top of our hat. In this room, we can see the top of our hat. <laughs> Briefly. 81 we got to. I'll check out in here. We've got a ton of HP. We've only got 22 bullets left for this. Let's just slam it down. Monkeys. I will take all seeing eye. Right. So. Balance and pull. We're only 10 casings off of it. I don't think there's any way we get 10 casings. I guess I could just destroy this and see. Nah. There's no cell hole on this floor. The Healy gals won't do anything for me, sadly. There's an extra room, though. I doubt we're going to get 10 casings from it, but there's an extra room. Do you know what? This is a massive risk for my Polaris, but I'm going to trigger this in the hopes that I can get a bunch of extra money. I don't know if that's how that works. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yeah, I lost my Polaris level. It's only one level. It's still good. We got it! We can take the balancing pole, nice. Fair and balanced. That looked like it balanced all my stats. Balances the earner's stats. It's literally Libra from Isaac. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at my stats. So... Uh, I am gaining... I think overall this is positive. I'm losing a bit of damage, but in terms of everything else... Oh, wait. I think because of my crazy shot speed... Have I still got crazy shot speed? Yeah, I think because of my crazy shot speed, I'm getting quite a lot of stats out of this. So that's, 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 that's good. Like, let's try something. If I, if I drop needle... Yeah, I lose a lot of stats across the board here. Okay, this is good. This is good. I uh, will go destroy this chest real quick. HP. Cool. We got a, a kind of interesting synergy. We kind of got the um, the soy milk Libra of um, of Enter the Gungeon. <laughs> Not quite. I know Needle isn't quite as good as soy milk would be. I wonder if um, the Soylent, whatever it's called, the soy milk version in Gungeon that the never name made. I wonder how that functions. But yeah, overall stats are looking pretty nice. We did lose some damage, but I think overall we gained enough to be pretty happy. Um, definitely at the minute, which is kind of weird, our biggest concern is ammo. I, I really would have thought we'd have got more ammo with the amount of chaos we have, but we've not been getting super lucky with that. The zoom out's really throwing me off. Game just doesn't feel right this zoomed out. Yeah, I was really hoping to, uh, th this, this room again. I'm sorry, but now is not the time. Ah, what the fuck? There's another hat in here. There's an imposter. There's another hat in this room. Why is there another hat in here? Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised at the lack of ammo. All out of ammo in that bad boy. I'm gonna use the nail gun for a little bit, but it's not great. Taking you out, fella. Dude, as if I got hit there. I think that was the missiles that got me. Oh, God, this nail gun's so trash. Wait, what? I just lost a bunch of stats. Why did I lose a bunch of stats there? Oh, God, this nail gun's so trash. Um, I'm going to use the heroin. I don't like using this gun. It's very good, but I just don't enjoy using it. Yeah, depressed with the lack of ammo. Oh, this thing does have piercing, which makes it a lot better. There's ammo. Okay. Um, I think we take it for this for now, because that's a good boss killer. Let me start using Polaris again. 
There's ammo. Okay. Um, I will. I will keep using the Polaris and come back for that. There is an unfortunate amount of fire coming around. Oh, dude, what the fuck? Oh, there was a guy right in goddamn front of me. Didn't see that little dude. I was looking for him further off. Am I on level one Polaris now? When did I get... Did I get hit twice in this room? Or was I never at level three? Either way, I'm angry. Either way, I'm angry. Ah. <sighs> Some unfortunate BS has, has been had. Volley. Okay, that's just stats up across the board there, baby. And that's actually stats up across the board as well. Okay. It balances every stat by the looks of it. So even enemies' bullet speed was spread amongst everything. So kind of better than you'd expect, actually. Oh, God. Even a dodge roll is, like, boosted. Like, our dodge roll's a bit high, uh, further than normal. I don't actually like I don't like things changing my dodge roll. We should get level 2 in this room. Yeah, we got level 2. Because there's a lot of enemies to go at. Is that it? Nope. This room just keeps on going, does it? Oh, there was ammo in there. I didn't even mean to pick up the goddamn key. I wish I had a better active to use with, uh, to use with butter, but sadly I do not. Challenge room here. Derringer. Okie dokie. Damn it, it's always a, a real shame when you get one of these goddamn challenge rooms and it's like, lol, here's a jammed enemy. Luckily that wasn't so hard. Smiley's revolver? Not bad. Is Smiley someone that gives you the shop discount as well? Can't remember. Buffs or debuffs nearby enemies. Um, cleanses, curses, charge casings, pep floor. We don't want really... to. I suppose we could cleanse our curses. Um... Less... We can't have less damage to jammed enemies. Don't think any of those really fit our playstyle right now. To be fair, that shop is very specific. I never feel bad about not taking those items. They are fun, but I feel like you kind of need specific setups to make them useful. Or you need to get them early enough to, like, be sort of working with the risk for the whole run and build your run knowing that. Rather than taking it late when you're already sort of established. At this point, my run's already sort of well underway. And there's no point in me adding risk if I don't need to sort of thing, if you know what I mean. I don't even know why I'm using this. Polaris is a lot better while I have the ammo. It's a baby room. We've got talk here. Um, kinetic bombardment. Interesting. The syringe here. Science cannon. Uh, I don't know how to feel about science cannon. It's kind of good. Okay. Uh, this room just used the monkeys. You go. I haven't seen our shop yet, apparently. Thought we had. Decent stuff in there. I think I'll just buy the key, though. Right. Go with that Polaris. Polaris against the boss? I think, actually, yes, when it's level 3. Oh, we've got piercing as well here, which makes this whole shebang a lot easier.
Yeah, that was that was kind of insane. It absolutely demolished him. Fat bullets as well, hell yeah. Although again, fat bullets just distributes the stats among everything. We're getting a lot of good stat ups. I mean, to be fair, this balance item, we've just gotten some really, really good items. Needle bullets, of course, is the best one. We've got the stat syringes, which are just all stats up. Very, very small all stats up, but all stats up nonetheless. The good thing about this as well is like, all stats up is like, yeah, 0.1% damage isn't great, but 0.1%, oh, not, not, not 0.1, 1 1% damage isn't great, but 1% of something else is actually kind of good. Curse of Sludge. Curse of I'm Annoyed is what that is. A mini boss, secret rooms over there. Fire's gonna be goddamn everywhere here. Oh, for fuck! Mm, down to level two. I I biffed that a little bit. I was more focusing on the enemies above than I was on the fire, and I walked right into some fire and actually got hurt by it. My bad. We should be back up to level three anytime now, so don't worry about that. Let's not do the mini boss quite yet. YV, baby. We'll be coming and donating handsomely to that. The YV thing is very, very good. The more you contribute to it, the better. Just makes you fire more bullets. And I like things making you fire more bullets, I'll tell you that for sure. I think it's 30 for our next tribute. Probably 30 will be our last one, but. I'll try my best. Having less poison immunity is kind of nice, actually. I didn't even think about how Curse of Sludge isn't really a problem because we have a. Uh, poison immunity. Also, it's. The, the, the fight against the dragon zooms out normally, right? Like, normally it zooms you out a little bit when you fight the dragon. Is it going to zoom us out to a set like set amount as in like it's not going to zoom out very much or not at all or does it zoom you out by a certain amount so even though we're already zoomed is it going to zoom out even further i'm curious if it's either to an amount or by an amount because if it's by an amount we're going to be zoomed out a lot Hello, ghost bullets. Haha, -ha, we've already got that. Doesn't really do much for us to the pop gun. Okay, we're just gonna have. One of these just hanging about, string a ding ding and along. Whatever, I guess. There's now a string attached to us that's gonna, I guess, stay there forever. I don't know. Whoa, do you see Pop Pop go off then? Holy shit. I mean, I, we don't really need the keys, but I guess. Okay, no, the string has despawned. Never named thought about that. Good lad. You know what? Screw doing this room. Oh, I was like, eh, yeah, screw doing this room normally. I'm going to teleport to the other side. And then it teleports me directly onto fire. Why can fire even hurt you in situations like that? It's just stupid. It's same with like the lich fight. You know, it drops you in and just... Dude, where the fuck's all this fire coming from? Fuck off. My Polaris is empty now anyways. I'm very angry right now. I've been harassed by some just foul bullshit. This isn't really a great weapon to use, to be honest, because it's not affected by pop pop at all. Probably use smileys, to be honest. Even our amount of ammo, like, is being increased by our all stats up. I love this. Great item. The chest looks so small. More stat ups. 
Don't know what this does. Reloading an empty clip creates a cloud of charcoal dust around the player, causing enemies to take, uh, nearby enemies to take more damage. I guess I'll figure out how useful that is soon. Oh, I've just realised that our um, our little walking boots thing, I fire, fire when walking, can trigger pop pop as well. Oh yeah, I see. I see the little dust of charcoal. If it's a it's a like a dust cloud that follows us. There's another hat in here. What's going on with all the extra hats? I threw my Molotov at him. My Molotov didn't actually die. It managed to stay on the ledge over there, look, but pretty much gone now. More syringes. Ah! <laughs> Just fucking Captain America that shield straight into the pit. I was like, will it throw the shield? Surely not. It literally just yeeted it straight away. That shield now lives on Yeet Street. It's gone. room over here. The grenade room first. Yeah, I, I bet whoever designed the web boots didn't really think about how negatively it impacts you when there's fire in the room. This is a good weapon. Really good weapon for uh, Pop Pop as well. Do we have enough money to play under the Pop Pop? We do, baby. Love it. Right, let's go. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this thing for now. It it re-zoomed me in. Okay, it does set you to a specific level of zoom. It actually zoomed us in more than we were previously zoomed out, which I find hilarious. Oh, actually, this thing with piercing. Is this thing good with piercing? It does have limited range, actually, so we're... Uh, we're ending it where we should be, it's fine. It creates like a little black hole effect. It does damage. It's, it's actually probably not our best weapon to be using for this. We could do with getting a um, ammo for Polaris for the next floor, really, but. Oh lord. That is a noise. That's surely a noise. Not really sure what's happening there, but it seems like my shots are getting stuck in the wall or something. The game does not like this at all. Take some monkeys in a barrel. Where are they getting stuck? Wherever it is, it's slowing the game down dramatically. And it's getting louder and louder and louder. How do I always find these ridiculous game breaks? The frame rate just keeps getting lower. Oh, don't make me do another round of this bullshit. Come on now. Feels a little, un a little unfair. I got hit there. What the fuck? I can't. Like, it's just eating my inputs. I'm rolling. I promise to you, I am rolling, and it's just eating my inputs. This game sometimes, I swear. Look at my frame right, man. It's like so laggy that my hat is lagging behind me. Look. look at this. My hat can't even keep up. All right, let me out this hellscape.
Not quite sure what caused that, but there you go. It is what it is. Oh, it's still happening on this floor too. Get me out of here. Don't leave my hat. No. <laughs> okay, sorted. Yeah, I'm unsure exactly what happened there because it sounds like a bunch of explosions going off repeatedly, but at the same time, it was caused by Super Meat fans. So, uh, unless it was just like all the saw blades got caught in like one specific bit of collision and they were constantly bouncing off of each other, like off of the collision. But the thing is, they disappear after a certain amount of time. So surely they should have done that for a little while and then stopped, but it was constant. I don't really know. I don't really know, to be honest. That's there. Basically, I was told to, to play with these more often because you get a chest out of them, which I wasn't actually aware of, so I'll do exactly that, especially in a situation where I'm so sort of desperate for more ammo. What, what weapon am I using right now? No, this. Oh, get off me! Oh, shit. Jammed enemy just hit me. Okay. This has been a really, really, really great first room, guys. Really stellar effort. The excessive missiles there were just hilarious. Okay, this gun isn't good with piercing. We're learning that. Really, you're gonna go behind the wall and get jammed? Can you just not? More stats. We just really don't have a good setup for uh, for bullet hell because ammo has just been, it's just failed us this run. We just, I took curse so I get more ammo. Game was like, nah. Also, this guy's glitchy, what the hell? Um, game was just like, nah. You can have one ammo. Or run, take it or leave it, oopsie. Hey, we can cleanse that thing either. I was told I'd get a chest for doing that. Was I mistaken? Where is my chest? I must be mistaken, but that's what I thought they said. Oh, I'm really having an awful time using this weapon. Oh, maybe that's our chest. Yeah, it is. Okay, nice. Wolf. I have a companion flag, so it's kind of good. My weapons are just gross. The weapons that I don't have ammo in are just kind of gross. I'm sorry, the ones that I do have ammo in are just kind of gross. I know I shouldn't use this thing because it could just lag the entire floor again, but it does good damage. I can't ignore that. all out there now. Monkeys, go! The noise it makes. Does it do more damage the longer you hold it? That is a crap haul from this guy. No red hearts. Ugh. Oh god, I really hate my items. I really... This thing's great, but it's crap with piercing. This is terrible. This is terrible. Gamma ray is now kind of terrible. Heroin is annoying to use. Science can is kind of terrible. Nail gun's terrible. The bootleg pistol is not bad, but going to run out of ammo pretty damn quickly and then explode. Wait. So what the hell's this? Is this the actual boss then? I thought... Wait, what? I, I thought that was the mini boss. That must be the actual boss. Huh. 
Go, doggy. Ah, I guess nail gun? This is just gross. Do not like my current situation whatsoever. Could I have, like, some ammo? Please? Ammo? Anybody? Always got them on fire as well, for some reason. Oh my god, this room's taking forever. This isn't even the last wave, I don't think. Oh my god, this nail gun's so terrible. I just rolled straight into the pit. Good, good, good. It was the last wave. But look, a key! Definitely good for my seven fucking keys. Oh my god, this game. I need something better. I'm on fire again. What a surprise. Doggy, get him. Okay. I'm gonna say this probably isn't a victory unless we get ammo, like, right now. We need something to kill the boss with. Right now, we really don't have that something. One room to make it happen. This gun's actually not doing too bad, to be honest. It's not good, but it's not terrible. Set me on goddamn fire again. Everything's fucking jammed as well. Oh. This thing's really fun when you get pop pop with it, too. Oh, look, no ammo. So, yeah, we're, we're kind of screwed here. Whip out the monkeys, see how we do. I guess we go with this thing and try and just range it out. This thing actually shreds if you hold onto it. It's not amazing, but it's good enough. Fortunately, we've now had to roll. Oh god, our roll is way too, way too big. First phase is done, but I don't think second is going to go so well. In an unlucky run. It's just literally have not having... To be fair, our guns have been kind of trash, but not having ammo has absolutely murdered this run. Can't believe I've won some disc monkeys in a barrel. How dare I? Oh, as if that hit me. Fox there. Tried to dodge. Last phase. We've got to do it with one HP. I don't think it's going to happen. I'll try my goddamn best, but... It looked like my dog was wearing my hat then. I liked that. Unfortunately, a fight where I have to dodge roll a lot. Oh, we did it. Oh, my God. I had to focus up a lot there, but we did it. Oh, my God. That was stressful. Whew, monkeys in a barrel. Wow.
Monkeys in a Barrel actually clutched that run. I, I picked it up and I disregarded it as trash and it came in clutch at the end of the run and saved our life. I, I think it just scales, like its damage increases the longer you hold it. I'm not entirely sure about that, but it definitely felt that way. And yeah, that made it kind of shine. Either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this run. Definitely a fun one um, and a struggle. Which is, uh, struggles always make it more interesting, I think, especially for you guys watching. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.